So Sherry Martell, and then some people say, oh, it's scary, Sherry. But to me, she was sensational. And I had the privilege of meeting her in person. And uh, she come into Smoky Mountain Wrestling and helped out a young girl, uh, young Tammy Fitch back in the day that went on to become famous as Sunny. And she just wants to come and kill me. She doesn't care about about how she looks to everyone. She wants she just wants to kill me. She's such a brute, Brian. And oh, by the way, Miss Tammy Finch, if you're thinking about doing anything into that match, you just remember that I'm gonna be on you like X Lake's going through an old woman on the last day of her life. And I'm not gonna let up. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna roll my sleeves up and not like you. I don't mind getting a little dirty. Mm. I think for the two or three weeks she was in Smoky Mountain Wrestling, and I wrote about this in my book, um, she rode with me at least four times out of probably, I don't know, every every two or three days I'd come home, then I'd go back. But she was there, and she had ride with me and a couple other people, um, Tracy's mothers, and, and she had a friend with her named Kathy. And I was driving down the highway on a Sunday. We was heading like from Knoxville. We had been out late, whatever, at the Waffle House and, you know, how you finish up at one of those nights. You're getting up to the next town. The next day we're heading over to Johnson City, Tennessee. And I had a rental car, a real nice one. And, and Tracy guys in the front, and Sherry and Kathy's in the back. It's middle of the day, a Sunday afternoon, heading over to Johnson City. Middle of nowhere in Tennessee. Sherry reaches over my shoulder and starts honking the fucking horn. Honk, honk, honk. I'm like, what the fuck? You're going to make me wreck or what? You know, and then she goes, cows, cows. And there's a fucking field of cows out in the middle of nowhere. She goes, uh, every, cows need loving too, Bobby. <laughs> we all had a good laugh, though. It's just a really good memory. But for the whole time she was there, she always called me Baby Blazer. And a lot of people still remember that that was around me at that time period. She always called me Baby Blazer. But she was a tremendous uh uh, wrestler, a female wrestler, she got her mixed it up with the guys. Then eventually, of course, got in there as Sensational Sherry and, and Scary Sherry. And she managed the Macho Man and Harlem Heat and, and, and whoever else. But I just wanted to share that personal story about Sherry. But you go ahead and tell us a bit more about Sherry Martell, please. Well, no, I'm, I'm glad you had a, a personal story because I love when yeah. you have those little interludes. It's it's great. Um, I, I do want to say, so Sherry Martell actually had a long career as a wrestler and a manager. And uh, in the AWA, she held the AWA women's title three times, and she also managed Playboy Buddy Rose and Pretty Boy, yeah, Playboy Buddy Rose and Pretty Boy Doug Summers when they were the AWA tag team champions, who eventually lost it to the Midnight Rockers, which was Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Shawn Michaels, she would eventually manage again in the WWF. Okay. Interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. um, I heard some other behind-the-scenes stories concerning Sherry and Sean, but that will not air. <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Because well, we're not you know. trying to bury anyone. No, what, what happens? Yeah, what happens between a man and his manager is his business. That's right. You yeah. know, financial situation need to be taken care of sometimes in other ways than monetary processes. Anyway, exactly. <laughs> you know, people can talk about her however they want. You you worked around the circle she worked in. I have never heard anybody say too much bad about Sherry Martell, and she was everywhere that mattered in wrestling's history at the time that it mattered. Yeah. You know, she was um, she, she was Shawn Michaels' manager when he turned heel. She, you know, just she was always somewhere nearby when everything happened. When when Liz and Macho Man broke up, she was Macho Man's manager. Yeah, she was always there as shit broke down. When when Booker T dropped the end bomb on live TV, right. she was standing right <laughs> she behind was there. him. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. Yeah, you know. Um, that's the thing. She she had an impact on wrestling. What I think about Sherry is it seemed like when you when you're saying that, she always had a job at some capacity in professional wrestling. She stayed busy. You know, she was like an AWA woman's champion, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Um, you know, I think she's the tag team champions and then of course she went on to I don't know, ballet and manage kind of both, although it took on kind of both roles, if you will. Yeah. Uh, I know when she come to Smoky Mountain Wrestling, she was nothing but good as gold to me. And I do think she was more sensational than she was scary. Um, I thought she was a great Sherry, you know. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, she was everywhere. 
I mean, she literally, she was like everywhere in pro wrestling when it mattered, even to the point where I believe you said that Chainsaw Charlie was wearing her pantyhose on his head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's who he said give it to me. And uh, uh, I'm I'm almost positive on that story. I'm pretty sure it's in Terry Funk's book. Uh, that's where he got him from. So anyway, that finishes up. Uh, sensational Sherry Martell. Oh, you all want me, but you can't have me. Read the book that has the literary and wrestling worlds on fire. Pin Me, Pay Me, Have Boots, Will Travel by accomplished professional wrestler Bobby Blaze Smedley. The incredible story of one man's battle to overcome all odds and realize a lifelong dream. Travel with Bobby in the ring, on the road, and around the world, including inside stories from WWE, WCW, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, and more. Forward to the book written by Jim Cornette. Buy your copy of Pin Me, Pay Me, Have Boots, Will Travel on Amazon.com today.